Hey guys, Proper English here. Today we're going to take a look at the latest version of my anti burnout adder. This time it's 8 bits, it has a carry in, and it only has 7 ticks of delay. This thing is pretty cool, so I'm going to kill the clock and then we'll get started. What you just saw is a great example of what makes this adder special. What I was doing was using a clock to cycle through four sets of inputs. And the reason I was able to go through those inputs so quickly is because this adder cannot burn out. It doesn't have any torches, so it doesn't have any burnout. And as long as everything is synced up, we get a perfectly clear output, which is amazing. So what we're gonna do today is we're going to take a look at what stage this adder is in, in terms of the development process, because I recently showed you a 4-bit version of this that was a bit less developed, and I've done quite a bit of work. So we're gonna see what changes there are, and what's to come. So let's get started. One of the major changes that I've made to the adder is this mess of wiring right here. This thing is ridiculous. It's an implementation of a concept that I developed for carry look ahead adders that saves one tick by calculating more carries at once. Building it for this adder was a lot trickier because I was using comparators instead of torches and you can see comparators of course have two inputs that means I've got more wires going around because I can't or things together as easily as I would have if I were just using torches. In fact, in some situations, I can't or things together at all. That means a lot more wires. Now, the other major change in this adder is adding a carry in, and that's something that's a bit more visible. So let's take a look at a demonstration. Before we try this out with pulses, let's try it out with stable signals. I've entered 255 into the adder, and I'm going to add one using the carry-in, that's this lever over here. And you can see what happens is we add one, and the carry-out turns on, that's a value of 256. I'm gonna make a few changes to the adder, and we'll check this out with a pulse input. To demonstrate the carry-in, I've set up two inputs, one with 255 and no carry-in, the other one with 255 and a carry in, so we'll be adding one and we'll get a carry out of 256. And there we go. We've got our 255 coming through and then our 256. Works beautifully. Now let's talk about what's next for this adder. In spite of the fact that it's a little bit big, I'm actually really happy with the way this adder turned out because I wasn't even sure I was going to be able to fit my fast carry logic into an anti-burnout adder, so the fact that I was able to do it makes me super happy. Now there are still a few things left to do. The first is bug test like crazy. I've only done a preliminary bug test on this adder, so that's why I'm not providing a world download just yet, but I do have a world download of a previous version that is bug tested. It's 4 bits and it's a little bit messier, but it works, so you can use it with confidence. Now, in addition to that, as always, I'm going to try to make it a little bit smaller, a little bit faster, and we'll see what happens in that respect. Thanks for watching, and I'll see you guys next time.